Today I'm gonna to show you guys an interesting little trick that I've learned for creating cohesive color palettes um, from sort of a base color palette, which we're gonna to put together really quickly together. Uh, we're gonna to do this by first hitting R for rectangle, and I'm gonna draw a tall, skinny rectangle here. Um, not too tall, not too skinny, it really doesn't matter. This could be a square, it honestly doesn't matter. We just need a shape to be able to fill. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the border here, and with that, I'm now going to duplicate my rectangle, because um, I wanna have four or five or six of these. So I'm gonna hold Option, and I'm gonna drag this right next to itself, and now I'm gonna press Command D a few times, which is gonna duplicate that transformation until I have several of them. So now I have five. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna start by choosing a dark color, and I'm gonna go with a dark neutral, like a gray. And then my second one, I'm gonna go close to white, but not completely white. And my next three, I'm gonna go with some basic colors here. So I'm gonna do sort of a neutral, desaturated red here. The key is to not oversaturate or over desaturate your base colors that you're creating for yourself. So you just kinda wanna stay, uh, not in the middle of the color spectrum, but sort of just up into the right of the middle. And I'm gonna go with sort of an orange here. And I'm also gonna throw in something to cool this palette off, like a green, maybe like a more minty green. So here we go. So now that I've got some base colors created, I'm gonna select all these. I'm gonna drag across. I'm gonna option drag them down to create a second copy. And then I'm gonna hit R to create another rectangle. And I'm gonna drag that rectangle all the way over. So now that I've done that, I'm again gonna remove the border. And I'm also going to switch the blending mode here to overlay. And when I do that, you'll notice that these are kind of being washed out here. And it's because the color that is in the big box now is interacting with the colors that are behind it. And by setting this to a completely neutral gray, uh, we end up with close to the same thing that we started with, almost exactly the same thing that we started with. Because uh, the way overlay works, it simulates light passing through, and uh, as light passes through a completely neutral gray, it doesn't do anything, at, at least in the digital world. So now I can go and start playing with color here. I can warm these colors up. I can make them sort of a warm vintage if I wanted to. Uh, I can also slide the hue here to uh, rotate these colors around. And I'm not saying that you gotta make it look um, contaminated with color, but by giving a gentle amount of color to our base colors, we're creating sort of a palette that all has something in common. They all have something in common that makes sense. Uh, this is especially great for creating vintage color palettes. Uh, so let's say that I'm satisfied with this sort of uh, vintage magenta hue that I've established here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the swatches at the top and I'm gonna option drag them down to create another copy. Now I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut, starting by selecting my first uh, swatch of the swatches I have down here at the bottom. I'm gonna hit Control C. That's not Command C. It's Control C. That's gonna bring up the color picker, and then I can click on the color above. So I can go one at a time and just click on each one of these to get my palette dialed in. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this, why I'm creating the second one. Well, the second copy down here at the bottom, technically the third copy overall, uh, these boxes now have the actual colors in them as we see them. Uh, this box up here, remember, this is still a combination of a blend mode and the colors that I started with, which oddly enough almost look like they have a green color cast to them because our eyes kind of adjust as we work along. And it's kind of funny, if we delete these things up here and we just stick with our new colors, if you look at them for a minute or two, um, it doesn't look like we added magenta. I mean, they, they look like a genuinely cohesive set of colors. It's hard when you know you're adding a color on top of other colors to ignore the fact that that's taking place. But the idea is, in real life, when we look at colors, when we look at anything at all, the same light is striking everything that we're looking at, in most cases. Sometimes you can see indoors and outdoors at the same time, and you might see natural light outdoors and tungsten light or fluorescent light indoors. Uh, but we'll say, hypothetically, if we've got a set of colors that are all right next to one another, that those colors are probably being illuminated by the same light source and will carry the same general color cast. So by doing this, using the overlay blend mode, we're able to create a cohesive color palette starting with simple colors and creating something that's really well tied together uh, without really much effort whatsoever. So hopefully you guys like this. If you do, please subscribe. I've got a lot more cool stuff coming soon, really kicking things into gear with Sketch. So subscribe if you haven't already and I'll keep them coming.